Hey, it's Chuck from Canada Welding Supply, and today I've got something pretty cool for you. Lincoln Electric Canada sent us over two of their new Tomahawk plasma cutting machines, and we're gonna go through them from unboxing, all the features packed in, and maybe even do some cutting. Now let's talk about what's in the box with your Tomahawk 30 Air. First of all, you've got your power source, which includes an internal air compressor, which is gonna keep you up and running even if you don't have an external air source on site. Now, if you do have an external air source, the machine can switch back and forth between which air source it uses. You've also got a 10-foot LC30 plasma cutting torch, which comes with its consumables installed. You've got a drag spacer on there as well. You've also got your ground clamp with lead, a shoulder strap, which goes on the front of the machine and the back of the machine, so you can carry it around the job site. You've got a retaining cap, which is meant to be used only for external air sources. And you've got a little parts starter kit here as well, as well as your manual. Now let's check out some accessories for your Tomahawk 30 Air and Tomahawk 45. First, we'll start with the canvas work bag that actually snaps onto the handles of the Tomahawk 45. This is gonna hold your ground clamp, your torch, spare parts, whatever you need to bring this machine with you and be equipped for the job. Next, we've got the canvas cover bag, which is great. It's mildew resistant and moisture resistant and covers your machine up when it's not in use to protect it from moisture and dust. Next, we've got the spare parts kit. These will keep you up and running when your plasma consumables reach their end of life. We have the circle cutting guide, which attaches to both the LC30 and LC40 torch. It is gonna help you cut a perfect circle. It's always good to consider your face protection when you're plasma cutting because of the arcs and sparks. So we've got the Omnishield with a flip up tinted visor and our finish line safety glasses. Now that we got this thing on box, let's go over the setup of the Tomahawk 45. Now the Tomahawk 45 is a dual voltage machine. It runs on 120 volt or 230 volt input. So you're gonna connect it to power and then you're gonna connect your external air line. Now that that's set up, we're gonna connect the torch and the ground lead. Now your torch is keyed so that it's very hard to mess up. It's got this black key at the top, which is gonna fit into the top of the receptacle here. There's also a guide pin on the receptacle. you're going to connect your ground. Simple as a twist of a DINs connector. That's all you need to do. Connect your torch and your ground lead and then we're ready to turn it on. The fans are going to cycle when the machine is turned on and then they should turn off. The fans are on demand so when the machine heats up to a point where it needs cooling the fans will kick back on and run for about 10 minutes or so. So now this is the main user interface of the Tomahawk 45. Up in the top left, you're gonna see the supply voltage. We're running this on 120 volts, and you're gonna see that reflected in your maximum amperage. This dial is not gonna adjust past 15 amps. That's the max that we can run on 120 volt supply. When it's plugged in to 230 volt, we'll get the maximum of 45 amps output. Down here in the corner, you're gonna see your options for cutting. So the first option here is a straight cut. The second option is for expanded metal cutting. So that's gonna reignite your arc each time you cross over a spot that doesn't actually have metal on it. You can just hold the trigger down, the arc will fire back up. The last option here is gouging mode. Gouging mode is only available in 230 volt and it's gonna run at 35 to 45 amps. And what this is gonna do is allow you to plasma gouge with the correct consumables. You're gonna be able to wipe out any welds or unwanted material, just wash it away. Up in the top right, you've got the air pressure that's currently being supplied to the machine. Now your air pressure is adjustable depending on the amperage that you're running at or the process you're running on. You use this dial here, you pull it out and you can adjust the actual air supply. Now, if I wanted to adjust this on the fly, I would use the purge button, which is gonna allow the air to flow and give me an accurate reading of how much air pressure is running through the machine. Once I'm done and I've got that set where I want it, I'm gonna press that knob back in and it won't adjust. Now that we've got our Tomahawk 30 Air unboxed, let's take a look at the setup of the machine. So the first thing first, we're gonna put some input power in the back of the machine. The Tomahawk 30 Air is a 120 volt, 230 volt dual input voltage machine, which means you can run on 120 or 230, whichever you have available. Next, we're gonna connect the torch. Now again, this torch has a keyed lead on it, 
which means it's gonna be very difficult to plug it in incorrectly. You're gonna take this black key at the top and you're gonna match it up with the keyed position on the receptacle for the torch. We're gonna thread that collar on there and make sure that the torch is nice and tight. Then we're gonna connect the ground lead. Again, it's a simple twist of a DINS 50 connector. And the ground lead is connected. We're ready to switch this machine on. So I'm gonna flip the power on in the back. Again, we're gonna have that fan cycle for a second and then it shuts off. Up here on the front, we have our amperage adjustment, our run mode or purge mode in case we wanna purge the gas line to set our air pressure. You have the selection of using the internal compressor on the machine or an external air supply. For this purpose, we're gonna use the internal compressor. Like the Tomahawk 45, we've also got our air adjustment. So you have this regulator on the front that is gonna allow you to set your air pressure through the torch. Down here, you may have noticed there's a sintered inlet filter for the internal compressor. That's gonna help keep any crap out that's coming into the machine to the compressor, keep it running longer. Now the Tomahawk 30 Air has a very simple front panel design. The first knob you're gonna see here is your amperage adjustment. This is gonna allow you to set your amperage based on your cutting thickness or your process. Now over here, we have the run or purge selector switch. This is gonna be set to run anytime that you're actually running the machine and doing some cuts. The purge is used to set your gas flow, which we'll get to. This switch here in the middle is an air compressor or external air switch. Since the Tomahawk 30 Air has its own built-in air, air compressor, we can use that where we don't have an external air supply. Now, if we did have an external air supply, all we do is switch it over to here. And then when we run the machine, it won't use that internal air supply. The air regulator, we're gonna pull this out and be able to adjust it to our desired air pressure. Once it's set, press it back in and it's locked into place. Now down here, you may have noticed this little silver piece. This is a sintered inlet filter for the internal air compressor, which is gonna make sure none of the sparks, dusts, or any of the other atmospheric junk gets into the machine and messes with the compressor on the inside. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up your LC30 or LC40 plasma torch. It's very important that you get the components of the plasma torch in the correct order and in there securely, or else your machine is gonna throw error codes or worse, do damage to itself. First, we're gonna start with the plasma electrode. Now the electrodes on the Tomahawk LC30 and LC40 torch are threaded. So they go in there nice and snug. And then we're gonna take this included wrench, which is wrapped around your torch when you unbox the machine. And we're just gonna give it a little slight turn. Next up, we've got the swirl ring, which is gonna actually swirl the air around the plasma torch and create a nice cutting current. Then we're gonna throw the plasma tip on there, and then we have the retaining cap. All of these parts line up nicely, and when the retaining cap is snugged down, you shouldn't have any movement or wiggling in there. We've also got the optional standoff guide, so I'm also gonna throw that on there. And that fits through a little bit of expansion. That'll allow us to get a little bit off the plate when we're cutting it. And that's it. Obviously, the best way to run your Tomahawk plasma cutter, come on. with a big Lincoln diesel. So to power our Tomahawk plasma cutters, we're actually gonna use this Lincoln 4400 that we happen to have in the back of the warehouse. So first thing we're gonna do, flip it to the on position. Now we're gonna wait for the computer to boot up, get ready to run. Okay, now that our machine has booted up, let's go ahead and start it up. I'm gonna hold the start button until she fires up. Just like that. We're going to plug in our power adapter, so it's going to go from 1450 to 650 so we can use the plasma cutter. So 
now I've got my Tomahawk 30 air connected. It's running off that Frontier 400 engine drive. I'm gonna run it off the internal air compressor, maximum amperage output of the machine. I got some quarter inch material, well within the rating of this machine. Let's see how it cuts. I like it. So here I've got some half inch material, which is Lincoln's maximum recommended severance. What severance is, it just means that you're going to get a cut through the material. It's going to be slow, it's going to be dirty, but you'll get the job done. Let's give it a try. That really wasn't too bad. A bit faster than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. As you may know, cutting expanded metal and mesh, air and the 45 both feature the ability to cut through that expanded metal and keep reigniting that arc so you get a smooth cut without any interruptions. So let's take a look at that. Right through without any issue. You can see I actually sped up towards the end of that, realizing my cut was going faster. So that's our overview of the Tomahawk 30 Air and Tomahawk 45, the new plasma cutting machines from Lincoln Electric. I want to say thanks to Lincoln Electric Canada for sending these machines over to us. We had a lot of fun playing with them. They ran beautifully on 120 volt, 230 volt, and off of our Frontier 400X engine drive out there. As you can see, the expanded metal cuts were great. The quarter inch, awesome. This half inch cut, honestly, that was surprising. It was a really good result to get. If you have any questions on these machines, or if you want to pick one up for yourself, reach out to us. We can be found on the web at canadaweldingsupply.ca, or you can email us at support at canadaweldingsupply.ca. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have on these.